Thank you, Chair and Committee. I'm Mortimer Hope, and with, from Regulatory Affairs, with me is Shane Hibbert, the Managing Executive of Mobile Engineering, and Kanisa Bukwana, um, she's in, an advisor in Regulatory Affairs. We, we thought we'd just address a few issues that were raised during the presentations, and the three issues we thought we start with the scope of the current discussion document that is before us. We'll also look at the so called wireless or mobile local loop unbundling and then the proposal that there should be a phased implementation of local loop unbunding. Let me see. Thanks Mortimer. Um in terms of the discussion document um, that we are all engaged, uh, that we're all engaged with. Um, we noted that it spoke mainly to copper, to the unbundling of copper. It explicitly stated that it, the intention was to unbundle copper or the fixed line. Um, we've also noted that the inclusion of mobile seems to have been an afterthought, uh, which is a slight deviation from the discussion document. In addition to that, um, the authority also confirmed in the one-on-one -on -one meetings that were held with Vodacom that um, wireless or mobile was excluded from this process. Um, coming to the inclusion of mobile, we believe that um, should the authority seek to unbundle mobile or wireless or whatever it wishes to term it, um, a similar process would have to be followed. Um, and. For, for licenses to engage meaningfully on that, ICASA would have to present its options of unbundling the mobile network as the discussion document before us only presented us with unbundling options of the fixed line network. Um, I'll now hand over to Mortimer. Right. We had a look at the wireless or mobile local loop unbundling. We, we try to come up with, try to understand what was meant by this. And if you follow the presentations that were made, there seems to be no common understanding of what is meant by wireless local loop unbundling or mobile local loop unbundling, as some people use the term. So we thought, could it be two-way radios, walkie-talkies? Is it a wireless extension of the fixed line network? Example, the DECT system that was used by Telcom or CDMA that is currently used by Neotel? Is it microwave links where you have microwave links going to cost customers to provide data services? Or is it narrowband or broadband wireless access technology such as GSM for voice, Tetra, which is used for public safety in South Africa, the IBUS technology, and so on. So we're not quite sure what we are, what is being discussed, what is being proposed. So before we go into any discussion of unbundling that is outside of the copper local loop, then we need to have our de definitions right so that we know what we're talking about. We also need to look at the methods that would be used for unbundling. The current discussion document before us sets out four methods for unbundling, and this is a very good document in the sense that we know what we're discussing and our comments are based on the, the methods set before us. But it doesn't help to have a discussion about wireless or mobile if there's no common understanding of what we're speaking about and there are no methods presented to us. So, as mentioned previously, we think that if the intention is to widen the scope of unbundling, then a, a new process needs to be started where a discussion document setting out the scope, the definitions, the methods for unbundling, whatever else we, needs to be unbundled, 
the approach the approach that would be used for unbundling and also the approach to pricing all of these should be set out in terms of the proposal that there should be a phased implementation of LLU we think that this is not a good idea this time that the benefits would be lost if there's further delay in implementing local loop unbundling and if you consider that some entities some access seekers are never going to go for full loop unbundling or even sub loop unbundling some access seekers will be quite happy to have bitstream access some others would be willing to invest more to go into full loop and sub loop unbundling. They'll probably start with Bitstream. So access seekers should have the ability to determine which method to use in which situation. And having a phased implement implementation would deny them that um, opportunity. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vatacom. Uh, one small correction. Can you say if we heard you correctly? I think you said that in the one-on-one -on -one meetings, wireless was excluded. That's a misunderstanding. We definitely discussed the subject of wireless. Um, thank you, Chair. The, in the one-on-one -on -one meeting, the subject of wireless was raised in the sense that the authority let us know that others wanted access to the wireless networks but the authority also said that the discussion document does not address wireless that is, that's true but that's not the information we got from the statement that's made okay thank you uh, do we have questions from the from the floor for Vodacom? This is being less contentious than I thought it might be. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vodacom.